In our interview with legendary actor and basketball player Shaquille O'Neal, we separated variables into two basic types, qualitative and quantitative. Truth be told, we can classify quantitative data even further as being either discrete or continuous. Joining us once again for continuous insight on the subject is a man who needs no introduction, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq, good to have you back. Sorry to see you still haven't visited my personal shopper, Robert. Shaq up. Can you get these people to stop talking about my clothes? Anyway, Shaq, discrete versus continuous variables. Walk us through the differences. Discrete variables are countable, like the number of shots a player makes or blocks in a game. Continuous variables, on the other hand, can't be counted, but are measured. Examples include a player's height or time in the 40-yard dash, Shaq Dabity down. Or their weight. What I heard from Charles is you giving him a hard time about his weight too. That was a simple misunderstanding. We measure continuous variables on devices like scales or timers, which may certainly include decimals, like your score on itself at like what, 150 pounds or 150.3 pounds, or 150.38 pounds. By contrast, the number of points a player scores can only be whole numbers, like my all-time career high of 61 points. Can you dig it? 